Welcome to bonus stage. So I have a really interesting preteen story to tell, and only me. Um, when I'm sorry, don't don't cry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> tell tell me tell me, your, no, 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 no. tell me no 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 no. Tell me. Oh God no! <laughs> tell tell me your story. Tell me. Oh okay. Well, I'll, um, I forget. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it was just because this just came up recently. I just I didn't remember this from when I was like 13. Mm. But apparently, so my dad used to tell my sister when she was a little kid about the Christmas elves who were watching all the time and reporting back to Santa. Kind of like the elf on the shelf thing before that was a thing. Mm. And, um, you know, like if she was being bad or something, he'd be like, oh, I, oh is that, was that a Christmas elf? I think I just saw a Christmas elf to try to keep her to be, you know, being good and so mm. forth. And apparently one night when we were both going to sleep, I said to my sister, like, hey, Michaela, like, you know what those elves look like, right? She was like, what? No, I just thought they're, you know, like little elves and, and outfits and stuff. And I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> no, okay. So so their noses are like really long and hooked. And they have black skin. And they have really, really sharp teeth, like, like a shark. And they have long, tapered fingers with sharp fingernails that are stained black from all the children they've stolen. My God, <laughs> yeah. you are a psychopath. I know. I don't remember any of this, but apparently it scarred her for years. Is that why she that still point? wakes up screaming at night about Christmas elves? Partially. Partially. And that she doesn't like celebrating Christmas and that she's in the islands right now, like for a Pretty week? Much. Okay, that Pretty makes much. sense. I mean, uh, like, you wanna... it completely scarred her. And I had no idea. You dick. You want to take <laughs> yeah. your Owen Wilson line wow. there? No, 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 no. Wow. 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 <laughs> I walk over to join him. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> oh. oh. You learn a great deal from mo mm. Are those two sharks kiss Mother Ocean? You want to go with that? Yeah, why not? We can learn a great deal from Mother Ocean. A great many mysteries lie in the ocean. It is true. It truly is fascinating to be able to observe it in a setting such as this. Oh yeah, oh, that's a very astute point, Ronald. Mmm. We stand together for a moment, admiring the wonders of marine life. Nice. We eventually make our way to the touch tank room, which seems to be the only things that the kids are actually interested in. The tank is filled with a variety of horseshoe crabs, sea urchins, stingrays, and small fish. And there would why why would there be a whale in a touch tank? Touch that tanks are so tiny. That, yeah. Anyway, I stand around the edges of the tank and keep a wary distance from the sea life. Who knows what kind of nefarious plans those horseshoe crabs have for my well moisturized hands? <laughs> Hugo rolls up his sleeve and sticks his hand in the water. Takes a bite out Don't of a stonefish. Don't you want to pet some rays, Ronald? Mm, I'd rather pet As you. He throws a stonefish in my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think I'm good. I, I don't really... I think I should just stay over here and admire them from a respectable distance. Come on, it'll be fun. And informative. Don't make fun of me, but I'm scared to touch them. I get weird when there's no glass separating us. I don't know what any of those things are, but I get the feeling they will probably bite me and my delicious hands if given the chance. Nothing in this tank can hurt you. The stingrays have had their barbs removed. The horseshoe crabs only eat little clams. And the anemones are perfectly safe to touch. He says, his hand swelling to the size of a balloon. <laughs> As he's holding the stump where his hand used to be. Against my better judgment, I approach the tank, slowly dipping my hand into the cold water. I touch a stingray as it glides past me. See? Not so bad. It feels like fun, slimy leather. Things get a lot less scary when you learn more about them, right? I dive my hand back into the touch tank with a renewed vigor for ocean life, punching a stingray in the mouth. <laughs> Wait, is I... that Hugo swimming naked in the touch tank? <laughs> when did that happen? No, touch me, Ronald. <laughs> now it's your turn. Uh, I, I poke at some urchins and feel the hard carapace of a horseshoe crab. My hand brushes against Hugo's as we reach for the same anemone. <laughs> I... Anemone. anemone. Jesus. Sorry. I pull away, Anemone. blushing. Hugo smiles at me. Hey, you're supposed to be touching the fish. <laughs> Sorry, I just get a little carried away sometimes. Wait. That girl over there looks suspicious. Dun -dun. Is that a bomb? Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> Akbar! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> it's, it's, it's River. Uh, <laughs> the baby. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> uh, why is that? Mm -hmm. Are uh, backpacks usually that wet? Oh no, she'd take a fish home with her. Susan, Susan, get back here. 
Hugo runs after a middle schooler and catches her before she makes it to the exit. Want to tell me what's inside the bag? What's in the box? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, excuse me, I want to be the little girl. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, textbooks? <laughs> want to tell me what's really in the bag? Susan won't budge. Carl, I mean Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I walk over to the... Damn it, Bernice! <laughs> and the girl. I think he might need a bad cop. Look, kid. <laughs> Give me the goddamn bag! <laughs> Where's That's Rachel? That's easy five to ten in the clink. I'm not afraid to hit <laughs> We don't, we don't have, time have time for games time. here. Whatever it is, it goes back into the touch tank now. You're not a teacher. You can't tell me what to do. Oh. Yes, well, I am. Can you put the bag down, please? Next time, we won't say please. Susan glares at Hugo for a moment before dropping her book bag on the oh. floor, killing Drop the thing inside of it. It lands with a, a wet slap. We stare at it for a moment before it starts to move. What? You what? <laughs> it sounds just like Ray. I love it. Uh... Hugo leans down and unzips the backpack. A horseshoe crab frantically scuttles across the floor. Ah, an employee shit. swoops in, what scoops it up, and puts God it back it. into the tank. She gives it a dis she gives us a disapproving look. Jesus, Susan, what was your plan? I was trying to free him. <laughs> to where? Outside? Where he was gonna die? Hmm. Susan, go back to your group. We'll discuss this later. Yeah, and hands where we can see him. <laughs> Susan sulks off, leaving me alone with Hugo. He gives me a pat on the shoulder. That's going to be ten minutes in the punishment box, Susan. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Middle schoolers have sticky hands. I doubt that's the first time that's happened here. Or the last. In the next room, we see a variety of smaller tanks. Sea urchins, tiny fish, and a rainbow of beautiful underwater plant life surround us. Oh. Look over here. Hugo points at... Point Hugo so points some. so some he sh see sh <laughs> see <laughs> <horses. laughs> at the oh bottom of I think it's supposed to be two points to some seahorses yeah. gathered at the bottom of the tank. One of them is in the middle of giving birth. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! The miracle That's of life. Actually, the male seahorse sort of takes fatherhood to a new level, doesn't it? I birthed Amanda out of my pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> I pooped her out. <laughs> hey kids, come check this out. The male seahorse is giving birth. A low murmur from the students. They just jump back on their phones. Mm. Fun fact, male seahorses can even give birth and then get pregnant in the same day. They're notoriously slutty. Those sluts. <laughs> Man, I thought we had it hard. Mm. I wonder if they have to deal with their kids' awkward teenage years too. All, however, many thousand of them. You seem to know a lot about marine life, Hugo. Oh. It's not really my specialty, but I do make a point to learn as much as possible wherever I can. I think that learning shouldn't end when you leave school. We should challenge ourselves to find out more about the things we don't understand every day of our lives. God, what a what a what a nerd that learns daily uh, after after school. If you know, just completely unrelated Nerds. to this, I'd like to pull up a text message that I received this morning. Um. Here, here is what Richard texted me this morning. He said, what's happening, man? And I said, hey, diggity dude, just playing some ESO and having some coffee. How you doing? Uh, and, and then Rich responded with, I'm learning about super luminal travel and their effect on Lorentz transformations and the forward casual evolution of the matter we are composed of. <laughs> and then proceeded to send me two pictures of Kirby. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> You're a fucking nerd, dude. <laughs> because if you stop learning, I don't think you'll ever be able to grow or change as a person. I'm not comfortable with the fact that you <laughs> faced me saying that entire line. Good point, uh... I guess. <laughs> but I still don't trust space and the ocean. <laughs> we'll get there. No, we won't. <laughs> we finally make our way over to our favorite part of the tour, the Arctic exhibit. Do we get to see the penguins? All I was saying is just that what they're starting to think is that if they t it's basically like if you take two ships and one of those ships, they're, they're going to the same place that's 100 light years away, right? So one, one of those ships travels 50% the speed of light and leaves immediately. You, on the other hand, in this race, will, it decides to take 100 years. No, don't bite me. <laughs> you take 100 no, years. No, don't bite me. <laughs> take 100 years to develop superluminal travel, light speed. Fantastic. Right? 
And then they're just trying to figure out the Lorenz, Lorenz transformation just simply. Yes, we got to see the penguins. Your world time, the regular world time. And, and Hell yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see penguins, dude. <laughs> a group of kids. Running. A group of kids run around the exhibits. They won't stop tapping on the glass of the puffin enclosure, trying to get their attention. For at least a few moments, teachers, chaperones, and students alike seem to be having a great time. What was I so worried about? This isn't too bad. One of the penguins pulls out a gun and then immediately demands everybody get down on the ground. Everybody on the ground! <laughs> Hugo suddenly get grabs. Down! Ooh, wait. Hugo suddenly, suddenly grabs, grabs my, my arm. arm. Oh my god, there's a student. In oh the penguin my enclosure. god. Wait, just kidding, it's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of ours? Oh, no. It most certainly is. Molly Henderson, Susan's oh, friend. Susan. I look over to the penguins and see a determined looking child crouching behind a rock. She's hiding just out of sight of one of the employees. Over on the side of the enclosure, I see the door to the exhibit ajar. Was it unlocked this whole time? We gotta stop her before the staff sees her and bans our school for life. Hugo looks around. Hmm. I'll create a distraction. Oh my god, penguin game? Hugo runs toward the puffin exhibit and addresses the entire room. I don't know. Everybody, 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 I have an announcement. The whole room turns around towards Hugo. Uh, um, hmm? here's a few facts I bet you don't <laughs> God know damn it. about penguins. Everybody just stares at Hugo, confused. Well, this is my shot. I run into shot. the enclosure. My spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm greeted by a cold blast of air. Psst, hey! The girl whips around to look at me. Her nose is pink from the cold. You can't be in here. Neither can you. <laughs> I want to do this one. All right. I try to walk over to the girl, but the ground is so icy that I end up slipping. I catch myself before I hit the ground, but the girl still laughs at me. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, penguins are uh, birds. Birds are traditionally known to fly, but penguins cannot. Contrary to popular belief, penguins are birds. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> you didn't folks. see that coming, did you? So, I can understand some confusion when we're discussing the, uh, uh birdness <laughs> of penguins. <laughs> the crowd is still somehow in rapture. <laughs> Kid, what are you even doing? I'm letting the penguins go. They deserve freedom. Freedom! Where, where are they even going to go? They're gonna live in my closet. Look, I just don't even have time to argue about this. We gotta get out of here. Not until I save a penguin. I don't know. Little known fact is that penguins only live... In cold climates. Little known. <laughs> uh, with some exceptions. So they don't all live in cold climates if you're splitting hairs. You know, or you're just a total dick. <laughs> Did I mention that they don't fly? The crowd is starting to lose interest. Oh god. Oh god. I'm running oh out god. of time. Da -da -da -da. Lay down the law, try, try to, relate. to relate to her. Yeah. Try to relate to her. I think back to a time where I released all of the feeder mice from the pet <laughs> store. It was a disaster. I was six, but it was a disaster. Mom. Molly, you oh. know, Sorry. life can be cruel. Oh, just bribe her. Give me money. Bye. I will give you $20 right now if you leave with me. Molly, thanks for a second. Okay, we'll give it to me right now. I reach into my pocket and pull out everything I have, examining each bill. Okay, well, I have 12 and some change. Also, there's a button here. Is that enough? Pay me the other eight later and we have a deal. We move to shake on our agreement before I suddenly realize there's a wave of penguins on their way out of the enclosure. Oh, We're gonna have to block these game. birds. Oh penguin shit! Mini penguin mini game! Oh my block god! That block bird. that bird! Do, 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 do. Is this a? Is that a sword? Is this a sword? What am, what am I to do? Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> bah! All right. Oh, I see. Get get him! Get him! Oh god! What am I to do? <laughs> the noises. Oh, wow, it's not working. Oh shit! All right, all right, we're good. Oh, oh, all right, this is a little janky. Can you bounce it? Um, what do you mean? Uh, I don't know if bouncing it against oh, them like works better. Ooh. Whoa, that's not working. <laughs> oh, no! Oh my god! No! <laughs> Why is this not working? No, you oh, bastard! I escaped. Oh, oh Jesus. god, that poor. Oh wait, I, yeah, I thought going. I lost. Keep I thought going. I lost. Here you go. Don't give up. Oh crap! Oh, they're all up. purple and adorable, and they have bow ties. <laughs> Look at them. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, bribe, <laughs> bribe that, that 10. Money. Oh, bribe that teen. Hey, Briber. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, the pen, you're That's amazing. Money. Wait, is that... Uh, mission mi complete? All right, well... Hooray. That, I, I, did I, I think we did pretty did well. Did I do it? I Penguins okay. escaped. More How many? Oh, only two. Two? Oh, I didn't even see the second one. Uh... Wow. 
Okay. Bribery works, good? everybody. S is good. Yeah, S is the best. Oh, uh, nice. I guess, I guess, S I guess is I'm. The best. Make sure to sweep something. I guess I'm. What? Uh, that's what it said. What? Oh. Said about okay. Ooh, glad that's over. Just in time, too. Looks like Hugo is wrapping up his di di diverge diversionary. Oh, diversionary penguin speech. Thanks. Maybe if I learned something after college, I, I would have nah. known what that word was. And that's why I think that penguins are one of the best animals in the world. A few people in the audience clap out of a sense of duty. Everybody starts, starts dispersing. Hugo spots us from across the way and runs over. Yeah. Molly, what were you doing in there? I was liberating, liberating animals, Mr. Vega. You realize that the penguins can only survive in arctic temperatures, right? You would have had a dead penguin on your hands. Two, exactly. Well, um, it was the thought that counts. No, Molly, it wasn't. Molly turns to me. You owe me eight dollars. Huh? What? <laughs> just, just, I'll pay you later, kid. Molly runs off towards Susan. I suppose so that they can compare animal thief notes. Mm -hmm. You're not off the hook, Molly. Ah. Ronald, did you just bribe a child? <laughs> <laughs> huh. I like that. You, you can't play by the rules when there's penguins on the line. Listen, man, we've all done dark things in our lives. I'm not the young, bright-eyed youth I used to be. The person believed in, That person believed in a world where you wouldn't have to bribe children to save a penguin. The me today knows different. I only wish I could go back. Ah. <laughs> Let's just get through the day and get out of here. Did uh, you go, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, was that a bad? It wasn't uh, a bad. No, it wasn't bad. I think it was just indifferent. With, with the day with finally time, sorry, coming to a close. That, that's fine. That's talking. fine. The the whole field trip is ushered through the gift shop, and we make our way back to the back out to the school buses. As we leave the aquarium and the kids load onto the buses, Hugo pulls me aside. Ah. Hey, Ronald, thank you so much for helping out today. You're a lifesaver. It was no problem. It was actually kind of fun. Ah. Let me take you out next time to make it up to you. You like cheese boards? I fucking love cheese boards. Great, well, I gotta go make sure the kids don't steal anything else. See you around. You know, I'll be honest, the cheese board comment, I didn't realize there was an option that said I love cheese boards. That was that was my reaction. I, know. I, know. <laughs> um, I walk inside to find the house empty. Hmm. I wonder where the panda's at. Before I know it, Amanda pops in through the front door. What you up to tonight? Just doing some homework. How was the aquarium? It was an adventure. Some kid tried to steal a penguin. We've all been there. <laughs> I had to run in and grab her before any of the employees saw. You got to go into the penguin enclosure? Did you steal a penguin for us? No, Amanda, no. No penguins were stolen thanks to the valiant efforts of myself and Mr. Vega. It was nice getting to spend some time with Hugo, though. Hmm. I'm surprised he helped complete a covert op. He's usually kind of, uh... Kind of a what? Uh, stick in the mud? He's actually pretty cool. I had a good time with him. All right. Too much adventure for me today. I'm gonna go rest my eyes. You mean take a nap? There's a difference. You learn when you become a father. <laughs> and you that a father. was a wrap <laughs> on Mr. Hugo Vega. How did we do? I, I think I think we did pretty. Oh, he's got pretty eyes. Dad nap. Nice, 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 nice. Mustache. Oh yeah, that mustache. I want to ride it. <laughs> yeah. Ignore that thing I said. Uh, yes, exactly. And and when we return, we'll you know. Date a person. <gasps> Who's to say which Exciting. one? Exciting. Who's to say which one it is? It's probably me. I'm gonna date myself. <laughs> <laughs>